All right, so let's go ahead and create a continuous contract. We'll use a couple of contracts, a GC contract. So the first thing we want to do is we want to download the data that's, that, that is available for those two contracts. So we're going to go up here to our uh, replay data manager. We'll um, select the instruments that we're looking for. So we're looking at the GC, and let's go ahead and let's combine the 0624 contract and the 0424 contract. So we'll have we'll have two contracts there that um, will end up turning into a single continuous contract. So we've got 212 items here. We'll just click uh, download 212 items and you see how fast they download and you can do this all with one click. The upside of doing this this way, rather than using NinjaTrader's version, is you can only download one file at a time using NinjaTrader's downloader. But this is our downloader, and, it, and you notice that it works really quickly and um, uh, super easy. You just give it a date range uh, for the instruments that you're looking for, and it'll just keep downloading until it gets to the end. All right, so we've made it to the end, so we can just close this now. Now we can go ahead and, and confirm that we have all of this data. So we'll go to our NinjaTrader 8 DB folder and then replay. And you can see right here that we've got those two instruments now inside of our replay uh, folder. So here's the next step. We need to create a folder for the continuous contract for the GC. So I'm going to just go here and I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call that GC pound 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 pound. And that's our new folder. So the next thing we need to do is when, when you download the data from, uh, from either NinjaTrader or from the uh, Market Replay Data Manager, there are going to be overlaps because those contracts can be traded at the same time. So what you actually want to do is put the dates, the beginning date and then the rollover date uh, of those contracts only in this continuous contract folder. So how do you find that? So you can go here to our futures rollover dates on our website and scroll down. And you can see all the different futures with the with their associated rollover dates here. So we're going to go down to the GC and we're going to look and we're going to say, OK, so for the 04 contract that starts January 29th, 2024 and goes to March 26th. So we want to go back to our folder. We want to go to 04. We want to start at, see, these are dates that are prior to the actual uh, commencement of that contract. But we're going to go to the 29th, and let's see, what was the, that was March 26th. Now we're going to go down here to March 26th. I'm going to hold the Shift key down. I'm going to select all of those. Now we're going to copy them. I'm going to go back and paste them into the continuous contract. And then we're going to do the same thing for the 06. Okay. So we got 06 data here. We're going to go and we've got March 26th to May 29th. So we already did the 26th for the other contract. So we're actually going to start it on the 27th and go to May 29th. Copy those. Go back, paste them into the same folder. All right, now we have a continuous uh, contract between the 04 and 06 for the GC. Okay, so let's close that now and let's open a chart. And we're going to open the GC. Pound, pound. Okay. 
Okay, and now we need to connect that replay data. So go here. We have to connect to the playback connection. We can just continue. And here's our player. So we started on January 29th. Was the first day of the contract of the 04 contract and oops we're loading and playing the data from the continuous contract and that's how you create a continuous contract for ninja trader 8.